we are studying inferential statistics where we are talking about testing hypothesis so far we done a t test and then one way nova where we were dealing with the one independent variable which was categorical and one continuous dependent variable in real life when we are studying the phenomena and the variables variables are not simply one to one connected but there are many other variables which are at play for example if we want to study okay, what are the effects of studying three hours in a day on the gpa or the final grades of the students we cannot only take an into account the studying hours there are many other variables which are at play for example home environment for example the mental or cognitive ability of the individual who is preparing for the exams and so and so forth there are many other variables so two way analysis of variance or factorial analysis of variance allow us to add more variables into the data um as we i said that in real life uh, variables rarely exist in isolation or without linking to other variables for example uh, if i want to study that how much i can reduce my weight while doing exercise only uh, there may be some effect of exercise on weight reduction and then another girl who is just doing a diet control to reduce the weight that has another but there are variables like if we combine uh, exercise and diet control together there will be a hugely different impact on the weight loss or the dependent variable so today we will talk about two way analysis of variance where we have more than one independent variable so when research study examines the nova having two factors or two independent variables it is called two way nova two way nova means groups are defined by two independent variables for example um if i want to study the uh, performance uh, of the students on the stage i want to study what is the effect of the audience and what is the effect of the self esteem so i have two independent variables like the self esteem of the individual and then uh, uh, audience present or no not present on the final outcome of the performance or or the errors that are made on the stage so there we we have like two variables in factorial anova we can add more variables and there are different levels but uh, today's lecture we will be talking only about uh two way analysis of variance with the two independent variables so in the two factor two way independent variables we called the uh, two factors like one independent variable as factor a and the second independent variable as factor b the goal of factorial design study is to evaluate the mean differences as we did in the anova and as we did in t test that we want to know the mean differences between the groups in t test we had one independent variable with the two groups in one way anova we had one independent variable with the more than two groups but in two way anova we have two independent variables with the at least two levels for each independent variable and we are studying the differences or mean differences across um, groups so study the mean differences that may be produced by either of the factors acting independently or by the two factors acting together so the best and the most uh, interesting thing about two way anova is that it doesn't only tell us the main effect of the one independent variable and the second independent variable but it also tells us that how the two variables are interacting with each other and how combinedly they are affecting the dependent variable as i just said that exercise and diet with exercise you may lose 2 kg with diet control you may lose 2 kg but when we are doing both how exercise and diet control are interacting together uh, to make a huge impact on the weight loss so this is an example of the two way we usually we call it a factorial anova because uh, in anova one way or two way or t test independent variable is always categorical like we have groups for that for the measurement level we have a nominal level measurement for the independent variable so here we have an example uh, of the two way anova so there are two variables one is the audience present or no present so presence of audience is one variable with the two levels 
and then the self esteem of the participants with the two levels that is low and high so it will make 2 into 2 like 2 into 2 means that there are two variables and both have two levels or two groups within that and uh, we have our dependent variable which is always continuous and that is our performance on the stage in terms of errors they make so this is an example taken from the gravator so here uh, in the two way NOAA we calculate main effects like for example I'll be calculating the main effect of the audience which is in the columns and then we have the second variable which is the self-esteem uh, which is in the rows so we have a rows and columns for both the independent variables and we not only calculate the main effects but also uh, interaction effect of both variables uh, so this is uh, what I have told already that the real advantage of combining two factors within the same study is the ability to examine not only the main effects but also the unique effects caused by an interaction of the two variables. The concept of an interaction can be defined in terms of the pattern displayed in the uh, graph. So mostly when we ANOVA ko abhi calculate karenge, two way ANOVA ko, or we SPSS ke andar karenge, to mostly we interaction ka pattern graphs tells us about how the interaction is occurring. For example, this is an example. जो मैंने पीछे आपको बताई है कि सेल्फ एस्टीम और ऑडियंस प्रेजेंस का परफॉर्मेंस के ऊपर क्या इफेक्ट होगा सो यू कैन सी फॉर दिस ग्राफ हमारे पास एक्स एक्सिस के ऊपर एक वेरिएबल है और जो अलग सेपरेट लाइंस हैं दे आर इंडिकेटिंग द सेकंड वेरिएबल सो हियर यू कैन सी कि देयर इज नो इंटरेक्शन इफेक्ट कैसे हमें पता चला इंटरेक्शन इफेक्ट नहीं है क्योंकि यूजुअली जब लाइंस एक दूसरे को क्रॉस कर सकें मसलन ये लाइन और ये लाइन किसी पॉइंट पे जाके क्रॉस कर लेंगी आपस में so for this we do have an interaction effect and for this graph we don't have an interaction effect aur yahan pe aap dekh bhi sakte hain ki for example no audience mein jo low aur high self esteem hai un dono ki errors relatively low hain ye number of errors hain jabki agar aap dekhen audience present jab hai to low esteem wale ki errors bahut zyada hain as compared to person who has a high self esteem so iska matlab hai the performance is not only you can see in terms of self esteem or in terms of audience but when we combine both together it give us very interesting and unique results ki yes audience and self esteem are important but they are more important when there is audience and the person is with the low self esteem that will be making more errors isi tarah we will make a hypothesis jaisa humne one way mein banaye t test mein banaye we always start with the null hypothesis then we move to the research hypothesis so simplest way of making a hypothesis is ki hum two way nova ke andar for factor a and factor b main effect ka hypothesis banayenge jaisa ki pehla hypothesis hoga there is no main effect of a uh, factor a aur jab ki iska research hypothesis hoga ki there exist a main effect of factor a isi tarah for the factor b or the second independent variable again we will be saying for the null hypothesis that there is no effect but for the research hypothesis we will start with that there exists a main effect of the factor b and the third hypothesis will be about the interaction that there exists an interaction between factor a and factor b ek baat jo anova mein important hai wo hai degrees of freedom jo humne one way anova ke andar calculate karte bhi bhi batayi thi but for the two way anova degrees of um, freedom is quite kind of you have to calculate uh, three kinds of degrees of freedom so one is uh, between group degrees of freedom is ka matlab hai ki hamare uh, factor 1 ke liye masan factor 1 hamara self esteem agar hai to uske agar do levels hain so k is the groups and minus 1 hamesha humne pehle bhi baat ki hai that is for degrees of freedom so for self esteem if we have two levels to 2 minus 1 would be one that is the degrees of freedom for first variable then similarly second independent variable hamara hai uh, audience uske bhi do levels hain so k minus 1 again for the factor b and then there is a interaction or interaction ke liye hum degrees of freedom for a and degrees of freedom of b ko uh, multiply karenge so this is between groups uh, if degrees of freedom for A hamari 1 aai hai or degrees of freedom for B bhi 1 aai hai to 1 into 1 hamari interaction ke liye 1 degrees of freedom ho jayegi 
اسی طرح ہماری ود ان گروپ ڈگریز آف فریڈم ہوتی ہے اور ود ان گروپ ڈگریز آف فریڈم ہماری این مائنس کے ہے فار ایگزامپل اگر ہمارے پاس یہ چار کالمز بنے ہیں اور چاروں کالمز میں ہمارے پاس پانچ پانچ اسٹوڈنٹس ہیں ٹوٹل ٹوینٹی ہیں تو ٹوینٹی مائنس فور ہم کر کے ہماری سکسٹین ڈگریز آف فریڈم بن جائیں گی فار ود ان گروپ ویرینس یا ود ان گروپ ٹریٹمنٹس کے لیے اور ٹوٹل ڈگریز آف فریڈم ہمیں نکالنی پڑتی ہیں دیٹ از آلویز این مائنس ون وچ از سمپل ٹوینٹی مائنس ون از نائنٹین یہ آپ کو آئیڈیا ہونا چاہیے کہ ہم ہر سیل میں ڈگریز آف فریڈم کا کانسیپٹ ہم نے پہلے ڈیٹیل میں ڈسکس کیا ہوا ہے لیکن ان ایس پی ایس ایس یو ڈونٹ نیڈ ٹو کیلکولیٹ بائی ہینڈ ایکچولی اٹ گیوز یو دا کالم آف سم آف اسکوائر یعنی ڈفرینس اینڈ دین ڈگریز آف فریڈم اینڈ دین مین اسکوائر اینڈ دین فائنلی ایف ویلیو ون وے نووا میں ہم نے بات کی تھی کہ ہم کس طرح سے سم آف اسکوائر کیلکولیٹ کرتے ہیں اور ہم کس طرح سے ڈگریز آف فریڈم کیلکولیٹ کرتے ہیں اور ایف ویلیو ہم کیسے کیلکولیٹ کرتے ہیں سو دا ریزن اینڈ ایزمپشن آر آل دا سیم بہائنڈ اٹ بٹ وی جسٹ ول ڈو اٹ ان ایس پی ایس ایس دیٹ از ایزی اینڈ اسمارٹر وے آف ڈوئنگ اٹ ایک اور بات جو ہم بات کرتے ہیں ٹیسٹنگ ہائپوتھس میں دیٹ بفور رننگ اینی ٹیسٹ یو نیڈ ٹو کنفرم دا ایزمپشن آف دیٹ ٹیسٹ بفور وی ران اٹ ان ایس پی ایس ایس اور انووا کے اندر وی نو دیٹ ایزمپشن آر آلموسٹ دا سیم جو ہم نے پہلے بات کی تھی نمبر ون آبزرویشن ود ان ایچ سامپل مسٹ بی انڈیپینڈنٹ یعنی گروپ ون گروپ ٹو جیسے ابھی ہم نے فور کا میٹرس بنایا تھا تو فور سارے باکسز کے اندر انڈیویجولز آر ڈفرینٹ دیٹ از انڈیپینڈنٹ سو ہماری جو آبزرویشنز یا سامپل یا انڈیویجولز ہیں دے ول بی ڈفرینٹ اکراس ایچ باکس تو انڈیپینڈنس کی ہماری ایزمپشن ہے پھر ہے کہ ہماری پاپولیشن جس سے ہم سامپل ڈرا کیا ہے دیٹ مسٹ بی نارملی ڈسٹریبیوٹیڈ اور اس کا ہم نے بات کی تھی کہ وی ول چیک فار نارملٹی تھرو کیو کیو پی پی پلاٹ اور کالمو گروپ سمیرنو ٹیسٹ کے ذریعے بھی ہم اس کی نارملٹی کی ایزمپشن چیک کر سکتے ہیں اینڈ دین دا پاپولیشن فرام وچ دا سامپلز آر سلیکٹیڈ مسٹ ہیو ایکول ویرینسز ہوموجنائٹی آف ویرینس کی ہماری ایزمپشن ہوتی ہے ہمیشہ ون وے میں بھی ہم نے بات کی لیونس ٹیسٹ ہم ٹیسٹ کرتے ہیں کہ ہمارے گروپس کے اندر جو ویریبلٹی ہے وہ دیٹ از ایکول یعنی آلریڈی گروپس کے اندر کو بہت ہیوج ڈفرینس نہیں ہے سو وی ول اسٹارٹ ان دا نیکسٹ ڈوئنگ ان ٹو وے نووا ان ایس پی ایس ایس